Formula One's commercial rights holder did not think it was in the sport's commercial interest to allow them entry either in 2025 or 2026. But despite that, Michael Andretti, his father Mario, have pressed ahead with building up their operation in anticipation of getting onto the grid at some point. They've got around about 120 staff here already in the UK. The ambitions to have 400 here and another 700 over in America. So the car will be designed here, aerodynamics will be here, and it will be built over in the States. Uh, Indianapolis is, is where they have most of their, their factory units and so on. Michael Andretti, an XF1 driver. Mario Andretti, who we see meeting staff in this factory today, the 1978 Formula One world champion, who said he was devastated when after the FIA gave approval for the team, Andretti Cadillac, as they would be known to join the grid, Formula One's commercial rights holder said they didn't think they were ready yet. So my question to them today was, what time scale are you working towards now? And do you think F1's commercial bosses are persuadable? And this is what Michael Andretti had to say. We feel we can, for sure. I mean. We feel that we're not going to be diluting the pot. We feel like we're going to be helping raise the pot. And when the race pot gets bigger, then everybody's going to share more in it. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's been a little frustrating, but uh, we'll, we'll get our point across. Yeah, so I was asking really, are they persuadable? Because there, there was this feeling that F1 just wants to stick to 10 teams. There doesn't seem an obvious candidate for Andretti to buy. That wasn't a, a question they wanted to particularly entertain today either. So they're going to keep working towards this goal, nevertheless, of getting on the grid. Now, what Formula One did say, though, is that they would look at the application in a different light if their big commercial automotive partner in America, General Motors, which has that Cadillac brand, would commit to building a Formula One engine for the 2028 season. Could this be the key to the door? Well, I asked Michael Andretti today, would General Motors build that engine? Here's what he had to say. They're currently building an engine. Yeah, they're, they're already registered to do it. So we will have an engine in 28. But obviously, you know, we need to build to get there, to just all of a sudden show up in 28 with a new engine and no team. You know, we, we need two, two years to build there, to get there, that when, you know, when we do get our own engine, we're, the team's ready to go and be competitive. So we're not naive in any way in that way. As far as FIA is concerned, not, nothing has changed uh, from the statement which they, they gave out earlier this year when they were declining Andretti's prospects of getting on the grid in the short term. But if that engine is ultimately built, then that maybe is the pathway to them making it. But as you heard there from, from Michael Andretti, they don't just want to debut with a completely new package in 2028. They want to try and get on the grid to have a couple of years to, to work towards that all-round package uh, debuting in that season. And you do have to say a lot of fan backing for Andretti to, to come into to Formula One. More, t more cars on the grid is seen as, seen as a better thing in all of the, the fan surveys we've undertaken. But the teams having just come out of a period where they all had some commercial difficulties into financial stability right now, there doesn't still seem to be the appetite amongst them to dilute the pot of money 11 ways rather than 10. So we'll have to watch this space for the time being. But it does affect you here to see this place actually taking shape build it and they will come. Well, let's see if they do get the chance to run in F1 anytime soon.